Spencer Lazara for MMA Interviews. I'm alongside Mr. Georgie Karakanian. We've got a lot to talk about. Obviously, you had a very impressive win over there in Japan uh, in Dream, New Year's, over Takaya. Uh, talk about that victory and, and, you know, staying busy here despite some frustrations with uh, where your career kind of has been progressing to. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, <clears throat> fought in Dream. It was a good experience. <clears throat> Never been to Japan, first time visiting Japan, so it was a cool experience. Finding uh, in Dream was one of my dreams, you know, because uh, Pride was there. Mm -hmm. So uh, the only thing that sucked about it, because the guy didn't put the belt on the line. So mm -hmm. that was pretty cool, but when was a win? It wasn't a split decision when it was unanimous, so I don't know what the judges was looking at. So, mm -hmm. But other than that, it was a good experience, but I'm glad I got the victory. As far as with my career, I guess right now I can't control anything because I could take fight at a time. I'm a little frustrated where I'm standing, but everything is cool. Yeah, I mean, you've rattled off six impressive victories in a row since your last loss was to a, a very quality opponent as well. It was not a one-sided fight by any means, but you did end up getting caught there kind of because you were over-aggressive going for a finish as you needed down on the scorecards, right? I mean. That was a long time ago, back in Bellator against uh, Patrici Patricio. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, it was a good thing. <laughs> Not one you want to remember. Uh, yeah, yeah, just uh, one of those things where uh, I lost because of my mistake, you know. Yeah. If uh, I would have went and fought like I fought uh, Takaya, it would have been a different story. I mean, you, you are one of the more technical guys, I feel like, in the world at that weight, and, and, and really in, in any weight. You're a very technical, technically sound guy standing, great jiu-jitsu. You feel like your skills are, are on par with anybody in the UFC and that you can compete with, with those guys, right? Yeah, of course I could, you know, I could compete with those guys. But uh, like I said right now, I can't control anything. Uh, of course I want to be there. Uh, hopefully I get a call from there. You know, we, uh, I know they have, they're stacked on 145 pound division, but uh, uh, when I watch the fights, when, when I see any 45 pounder compete, you know, for UFC, fight for UFC, uh, you know, I for sure think I could beat those guys, you know. You know, Bellator has Pat Curran, and have they been in any talks with you? Have you thought at all about going back to Bellator, or is that not really something that you're looking to do, especially considering the long uh, contracts and, and whatnot? Yes, as of right now, no, we haven't been in contact with Bellator, but uh, me personally, uh, I felt like I went there, you know, at the right time and, uh, you know, came out at the right time. You know, I did my fights. I did the tournament style. I like the tournament style a lot. I think it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's great for a fighter that wants to keep, stay busy. But uh, for me, as of right now, my goal is to, uh, to go to UFC. You know, that's, that's my biggest goal. Or, you know, if it's not UFC, I want to fight bigger names that have been in UFC. You know, maybe maybe you want, UFC wants, wants to see if I could beat any of their guys. So, you know, I've been, uh, I've been wanting to fight uh, Mark Hominick, but, you know, he retired. He's, he's a great fighter. Uh, you know, who else? There's, I think there's Horideki. Horideki would be a good match for me. But, you know, like I said, my goal is to be in UFC, so whatever it takes, I want yeah. it to do. Yeah, so you obviously you're looking to get kind of a guy with a little bit of a name, something to really vault you and, and prove to the UFC brass that, hey, you know, give me a shot here. Right, right. You know, uh, I mean, when I won the uh, Tachi Palace belt, I beat Isaac. Mm -hmm. Isaac knocked out Nam. Nam is in UFC, so, you know... I thought I would get in there, but then, you know, I fought Micah. Micah's a tough guy. He's been in WC. Uh, it was uh, not an impressive one for me, you know, because it was so boring. He had this weird game plan. I thought he was going to keep his reach and fight, fight use his uh, length. But, uh, you know, I beat Micah too, and then uh, I thought for sure I'm going to go to UFC, but that didn't work out. So uh, I took the fight uh, against uh, Takaya, which is the dream 45-pound uh, champion. So... You know, I said, okay, I, I beat him. I should for sure get in there, but uh, you know, nothing. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, you know, I guess you gotta, you know, keep grinding, and, and something good will happen. What was the coolest part about visiting Japan? It's it's a culture that I that I love a lot, and really want to go myself. Haven't had a chance. So, what were the coolest things that you got to experience while over there? 
I think just the culture is uh, that of uh, very res respectful people. Uh, I never been in a country where they respect you so much, even uh, in the liquor stores. You know, it was a cool experience. Uh, they treat fighters like uh, you know, like superstars. They are. Uh, it was a crazy experience fighting from like thirty-seven thousand people. So it was it was great, man. Um, well, what is your training right now? How are you keeping busy? And and who are your training partners and whatnot? Uh, my train is the same as just uh, Millennia, Millennia May, but uh, I cross train with GFC guys, Manny, Manny Gambrier and Edmund. So I uh, I trained, you know, I, I try to stay in shape just in case UFC needs me or someone gets injured. You know, I'm always ready. So I'm always, I'm always ready. There's no difference when I'm getting ready for a fight or when I'm, when I'm just training, it's the same. Yeah. You're, you're a good size 145 pound fighter. Have you ever thought about attempting to make a cut to a smaller weight at all, or are you stuck, uh, you know, right there at 45? I know you're, you're a good sized dude. I know you're a lot bigger than Manny, for instance, who who fights at 45, so, you know, and does a good job in the UFC. I thought about cutting 35, but I have to probably cut off one of my legs to make 35. But you know, I like 45. I actually want to later on move up to 55. You know, I I honestly don't believe in. Uh, the weight differences, you know, the, some some fighters lose and they drop weight, they're thinking uh, it's gonna be easy. Like for example, uh, Clay Guida against Hatsuyoki last night, you know. So, you know, it's I don't know that. So I don't think 35 will happen. <laughs> Definitely. Well, we were talking about Jose Aldo and Frankie Edgar, and you were expressing to me that you think Frankie has a, a good advantage actually, and and will do very well in this fight. Uh, yeah, I think Frankie. Uh, Frankie moves a lot. Uh, uh, his wrestling is really high level. You know, he taken down BJ Penn, Graham Maynard. So uh, I think in the later rounds, it's going to get Aldo tired, and uh, I think Frankie's going to win decision. Interesting. It's going to be exciting to watch, man. I'm excited for that one. Who are some of the fighters that you sort of uh, are your favorites and, and look up to and, and really like to maybe mimic or just enjoy watch, watching and compete? Uh, you know, I, I can't mimic, uh, you know, some of the fighters, but I really, uh, I really enjoy, uh, I really enjoy watching fighters that try to finish fights. You know, for example, uh, Eddie Alvarez is a good, good fighter to watch. Uh, Nick Diaz is a good fighter to watch, you know, where they go for finish. But pretty much anyone that tries to go finish the fight. Yeah, you're definitely a finisher. Talk about your, your background. Um, you played a lot of soccer. You grew up, correct me if I'm wrong, in Russia, right? And and moved here. And you played a lot of soccer and almost played professionally, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, I played. Uh, you know, I, Of course, I started playing in Russia. And then I moved here. I played for high school. I played for uh, ODP, which is Olympic Development Program. And then from there, I met, went to Region 4. And then from Region 4 is... Uh, the nationals and then <clears throat> you know playing there i uh there's a team it's a uh, san diego soccer it's an indoor team professional indoor team i played with them for a little bit i didn't make it to the high levels but you know it was it was a it was a cool uh cool experience and how about martial arts when did you start that you i understand your dad was into martial arts and that's kind of how you fell into it yeah i was i did martial arts uh when i was a little kid but I fucking hated it. I didn't like to put the karate gear or nothing like that. But it was a, it was a little start, you know. It just gave me a little discipline. And but uh, the way I got into uh, MMA was through my friend who was doing jujitsu. So I tried out, and since then I started fighting. Who? What friend? Uh, his name is Art Ramirez. Uh, you know, back in uh, Riverside. Mm -hmm. So that's how he's uh, brown belt under uh, I think under Marcelo Mafra. Yeah, yeah. Are you going next week with Saad? Saad's fighting in Bellator next week, a good friend of yours uh, in Michigan. Are you going? Uh, yes, I'll be there uh, in uh, Michigan with them. Uh, he has a good, t tough fight, so I think he's, he's going to do really well. Uh, he, uh, he changed as a fighter. He's training more right now, uh, taking the sport serious, so it's good. Yeah, definitely had a good talk with him. That'll be fun. You better bring your uh, your big jacket over there man i guess you you're used to it from from having grown up in russia and japan yeah you should be all right right yeah i should be fine uh you know as long as there's a little whiskey or vodka we should be good <laughs> definitely well anything else you want to say georgie uh 
first of all, I'd like to thank you for uh, showing interest to interview, because it seems you're the only, uh, I don't want to hurt no one's feelings, but you're the only person who showed interest, you know, to uh, from the MMA uh, world side, you know, to, to get uh, some uh, interview with me about the Japan fight, but thank you, MMA interviews. Uh, thanks to uh, Melania, all the Melania guys uh, that helped me, especially Joey Bedoya and Aaron Witherspoon. And thanks to High Fighters and all my sponsors. Yeah, I mean, I definitely don't forget as well, there was a time when I had just started kind of doing this and I remember coming out and seeing you guys at Millennium MMA, you guys have always been good to me. So, you know, not to mention just the fact that I know how talented you are as a fighter and how hard you work and would definitely love to see you in the big show. I think you deserve it. And, you know, perseverance will pay off. Get a couple more wins here. Georgie Karakani, and you'll be seeing him very soon in the big show, hopefully in the UFC. I'm Spencer Lazara, Georgie Karakani, and we're out.